Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. In this episode, we take a look and review new interactive game by Interior Night with As Dusk Falls. With more and more games delayed in 2022, the games that do come out may have never gotten my attention as I've waited for AAA blockbuster games to play and with a list of my back catalog to catch up with next-gen games as well. With games like Starfield and Forspoken coming out in 2023, I'm pretty much stuck with Saints Row and God of War Ragnarok. But out of the blue, and a bit of boredom, with a, a lot of fanfare for this game, comes an incredible one that gives you pure enjoyment and a lot of surprise. As Dusk Falls was developed by Interior Night and released by Xbox Game Studios in 2022 for the PC and Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Xbox Series S. This game is an interactive story told while the player mashes buttons, swipes the controller in a specific direction while making decisions and or action on screen. the nature channel please hey i said stop jumping i'll stop if you let me watch my show it's educational <laughs> all right but only a half hour yay thank you daddy you mostly play in quick time events and choose your dialogue directly and packs what happens as you move throughout the game the story has characters that you take charge of as the story explains back and forth in order for the player to truly understand what has happened and what's gonna happen and why. As the game tells its story, the player begins to unfold and understand what is truly going on. You basically have three different factions and they all somehow come together and meet one another in this game. Character development is huge in this game as you think you know what's going to happen and you know how you feel about where the story is headed and then the story throws you a curve with a character development you wish didn't happen but now intensifies your choices as you care much more for that character than ever before. Your choices that you do make will make you pretty sure and then all of a sudden unsure on the events that may happen and keeps you glued to the screen always making you retract on what you just said and double guessing yourself all the time. The writing and dialogue is fantastic. The game does that point and click adventure game feel but more towards an indie game as well. The dialogue and cast here is perfect in every way making you feel that much more attached to the characters, story and especially its pacing. Right when you thought you knew it all the story jumps to make you basically question everything you want to do and what you should do. You think I'm scared of him? He's just a high school dropout who thinks he's some tough guy. Look, I saw a kid leaving when I first arrived here. He's yours, right? What does he have to do with this? I'm just saying, one parent to another. If things go wrong here, the last thing you want is him growing up without a mom. The visuals and art design are something that did not attract my tastes in the beginning, but with the positive reviews, I gave the game a try. Think of it as a story told in storyboards and or in an animatic, waiting for someone to fill in the key frames. No matter how you look at it, the story and visuals do combine well, and before you know it, you wouldn't have it any other way. The multiplayer is surprisingly a nice idea. As you progress through the story, you and others can vote on what the character should do next. This will take the story in random directions and adds to the replay value to find out what happens next, especially when it's the choice of the party and not just yours. With the storytelling, writing, and different outcomes the strongest part of the game, the biggest cons is its length and replayability. No matter how you approach the game, the game will last about 6-7 to seven hours based on how fast you make decisions. The core story remains the same, and how you get from the beginning to its eventual end is basically the same. It's just how you decide to get there. 
Of course, there are multiple endings, but I found myself not repeating the story I completed as it was just that, my very own special version of the story. Overall, the game is a fantastic one-time playthrough and again maybe with friends to see how crazy it can be. The presentation here is top-notch with its superb writing leading the way with its fantastic 6-7 to seven hour drama on your hands and something worth watching till the end. As Dusk Falls gets a 7.5 out of 10 for its incredible journey in this interactive storytelling game experience. I never had a game make me question all my choices like this and probably won't see one like this soon enough. That's it for this look and review of As Dusk Falls. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Damn.